Penobscot Narrow Observatory in Fort Knox State Historic Site, which uh, we are going to try to look at. The old bridge was tore down when? 2006. And they built this. Uh, the original bridge was built in 1931, but uh, when they were 2003, they were going to redo it, and uh, they found a bunch of corrosion then, and then they said, "What? It was too expensive to fix to it." To fix, so yeah. they replaced it. Yeah, the cables had corroded and under a covering. So, uh, they put in this bridge. So, uh, so we're just kind of waiting until 9 because we're going to go into Fort Knox and uh, check and it out. And the observatory. And the observatory and the bridge. Yeah. So, anyway, that's where we're at, guys. We'll get back with you. But it's a great view, ain't it? Yeah, it feels weird, yeah, uh, you know me. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, kind of like that, right? It's got all the story for it. Mount Tuck. But I know an osprey, you know. I mean, we got them in Florida, you know, too. But the puffin. A puffin. Maine is such a beautiful state. I don't think we're gonna see Mr. Seal. I ain't gonna see, gonna see right Mr. Now. Seal. From the, yeah. The boat. I see fish jumping. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're headed to the fort. Next stop, 
Fort Knox, and we and it ain't all the gold. And not that Fort Knox. Not that Fort Knox. We're going to go see Fort Knox. <coughs> they started construction of it in 1844, and it was named after, oh, what was it, Secretary of State? A uh, war, was it? Henry Knox, yeah, and under uh, Washington. We'll look up our facts before oh, yeah. we... And, and, yeah. <laughs> before we give you any more information but uh, right generally I think, guessing. well it's named after uh, Henry Knox so I know that I know that it was started in 1844 so yeah, and I think it's one of the first granite forts built all granite you know. yeah granite? well I think they might be some brick but yeah I think the exterior walls were all granite so anyway onward we go guys you want to read my thing let me take my picture Okay, we're at the Fort Knox State Historic Site. A little bit of history about it. The American Revolution and the War of 1812 brought every enemy British ships to the Penobscot River. During both wars, Great Britain seized control of the river, fought battles in the River Valley's towns, and claimed the surrounding land for the British crown. With America's defeat of Great Britain in the two wars, British claims to the area did not last. Still, the U.S. government recognized that a defenseless, defenseless Penobscot River could be attacked again, and the river's increasingly prosperous towns, such as Bangor, threatened. By 1825, the nation's defense plans thus included a fort at the present-day site of Fort Knox, but no funds were actually provided for construction until nearly two decades later. With tensions still present between the U.S. and Great Britain, most recently over the location of Maine's northeast border. After acquiring land and designing a large modern fort, the U.S. Department of War and its Corps of Engineers began building Fort Knox, sited to guard the narrow channel through which all enemy ships traveling upriver would have to pass. Lieutenant Isaac Stevens, a young West Point graduate, was placed in charge of the massive project. Construction began in May of 1844. Okay, guys, there's a brief history, and it's off to the fort. She said that was a paper plant. A paper plant. I bet it stuck when it was. Have you ever seen a paper plant that didn't stink? No. I haven't. Okay, guys. There's the wall. We're headed around. I like that view of Bucksport. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful view. See the defenses down on the water down there. So is there like this little section then from up here, I guess? Yeah, see the hat batteries down there. And the cannons mounted down on the river. This time it was keep the, instead of the Canadians and under control, it was keep, keep the them British, British and <laughs> keep the British under control. So uh, guys, we'll get back with you. That is B battery. Cordon to the side. They shot rifles through there, but.
Boy, that granite held up good, didn't it? Okay, guys, we'll get back with you at the entrance. Uh, Henry Knox, Miss Junebug looked it up, was uh, Secretary of, of Defense War. War back then, you know, uh, for George Washington. So it was named after him. And uh, we'll see the view of it when we get in there, guys. And there's the entrance. It went bad. Entrance to this and the observe. Obser yeah. Was $18 out of state. Yeah, but that was for two people. For two so $9 people. $9 a piece. Yeah. And in state, it's a lot cheaper for the people that live in May. And that's the way it should be. I agree. Twenty four pounder. What a view they had. And I lost Miss June back. Casement. 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 Yeah, boy, it's right out on this point. Now here's your big boy. Yeah, a big boy. <sighs> Can you get up there? Took ten men to fire one cannon. Wow. And that is huge. Got your phone. Yeah. You want to hold that? Turn your light. 
that thing. It's in my mind. But it's in your first page. You could just hit it. Officers' quarters. Very great. We now know where Waldo is. <laughs> Mass Hall. Look at that granite. You see all these things on the ground. Like, like manholes, right? Manholes, yeah. They were storage vaults. Just so you can look down there. Okay, guys, that is our uh, view of Fort Knox and the observatory. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a beautiful place. We had uh, three women talk to us on the observatory. From Maine. From Maine. Mm -hmm. And ask us what we thought of their state. Well, I'm going to tell you. Their state is one beautiful state. We knew we would love it, but we didn't realize how much we'd love yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. It's a hot day today. Oh, it's for hot. For them, it's yeah. about 10, 15 degrees warmer. Than normal. Than normal, but. And they're dying. And It's cooler than Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, we're thinking, well, it's warm, but it ain't that bad. So, uh, but uh, as we go away to the people in Maine, 
You got a beautiful steak. You should be proud. You got to be proud. Very proud of it. And as we're sitting here with Fort Knox behind us, I'm going to spin around and show you Bucksport, Maine. And that's the scenery here. It's just uh, absolutely beautiful. And we will be back. And I think that's everything. It is. Great trip. Great trip, guys. Leave out of here tomorrow. And uh, headed New Hampshire. Yep. So, guys, we'll talk at you later.